Hi, I'm Lisa Vondrasik from the Children's Literature Research Collections of the University of Minnesota, and I've been asked to talk about summer reading, and here's some summer reading that I wanted to share. Informational books, some fiction, and what ties these books together is that they're all from independent presses. Often you hear just from the big five, Penguin, Random House, but what we have here is, the author is Marion Dane Bauer, so you know the language is excellent. There's photography, Jump Little Wood Ducks. And let me show you here. Jump Little Wood Ducks. It's for our youngest listeners. Three little wood ducks alone in their nest, high in the hollow of a tree. Mama, they cry. Where's our mama? Where are our brothers and sisters? An engaging read aloud, photographs to pour over, especially great for those of us who are going to be up north this summer, those of us who want to go out and explore nature and help with that nature deficit that we know that children are suffering from. We have Jump Little Wood Ducks, a independent press adventure publications. Now National Geographic Kids, National Geographic is a independent press as part of National Geographic Publications. A Seed is the Start by Melissa Stewart. Spin, splash, tumble, pop. Explore fascinating ways seeds travel from here to there and grow into new plants. And again, uh, what I love about this book is the language, it's the factual information, and the drilling down to how do seeds travel, how do plants move from place to place. You may not be familiar with Cornell Labs. They have a publication series called Persnippity Press. Now, if you don't know Jane Yolen and Adam Stemple, you should. But here we have Crow, not Crow. And this is an advanced reading copy, so this will be available in hardcover. And what we see here is a father taking a young girl for a walk to go birding. And I want to show you my favorite spread, this red-winged blackbird. So we see the environment that you see the birds in. You see the father and daughter relationship. And what we have here is a wonderful book that is a quiet book and a terrific family read aloud. Another great read aloud that I'm just loving is You Can't Be Too Careful by Roger Mello, translated by Daniel Hahn, and this is Elsewhere Editions. And what we have is a cumulative tale that goes forward and back, incredibly illustrated. White Rose is safely in her pen. The gardener is keeping a close eye on her. The gardener doesn't turn away for a single moment as if White Rose might escape from her pen. But you can't be too careful. Do Doodle Bugs Doodle? Amazing Insect Facts by Corrine Demis and Artemis Rorig, illustrated by Ellen Shee. Do bed bugs wear pajamas? Do stink bugs take baths? Do kissing bugs send valentines? This is another one from Persnickety Press from Cornell Labs. And we get incredible factual information, but also fantastical illustrations. Do water boatmen wear life jackets? Well, that is an excellent question. No, but they carry an air bubble under their wings and use oxygen when they swim underwater. It's a great did you know book. It's a great informational book. 
and has terrific back matter. So you have the facts of the situation as well as photograph of the real insects. Thank you for joining me today for Read This Book and have some great summer reading.